So uh, once again, thank you for being with us today. Uh, I would very much be honored and proud to present to you the amazing Mr. Vessant. Uh, he will share with us, like I mentioned before, his uh, long path, long journey of his career and how he started. Thank you, Mr. Khalid. It is a wonderful time when we have started business together. And today, I think I'm happy that uh, you are uh, jump to the part where you are serving the youth and in the right directions. And uh, thank you, Mr. Malim. A long time we are meeting here. And thanks to everyone, all the young guys who, are, who came and especially are getting bored, but no problem. I'll try to make you happy. Right? <laughs> thank you. Yeah, sometimes the events are becoming a little longer and uh, youth is basically impatient. So, you know, they want something every time should be live. But uh, life, sometimes life so live until you make it live. So, I'll just show you some of the things which is, uh, we have started uh, our career and it was in 1988. I just came to Dubai after graduate, science graduation as uh, three years diploma courses in computer science. And I jumped to Dubai and uh, basically a few points I'll explain you. You also all can be achieve your goals in your life when something you decide and announce from the first day. Actually what happened, we mostly the youth people are get confused that what to be done, what to be done and then you need a lot of uh, suggestion from the friends and family, it's still confused, all the time confusing. Because today so many things are there to do. And so many things are there, that's why we are totally confused what to do. Before there was two choices, engineers, doctor or accountant, right? There are maybe three, yeah, three choices are there. But out of three, we have to select one. It's very easy. I had to be doctor, he should be engineer, my friend, and another friend should be accountant. Like commerce or science. Today, because the world is very fast, it has improved a lot, and everything is on hand, everything is very easy. So. Youth is really a struggle time. In this way, you need a, some good consultant who can guide you. I think this is one of the uh, role which is Khalid is playing and many other people are also playing. So I just uh, summarize, I'll start the, my journey. First I want to say thanks to Mr. Khalid. I think you can read it here, what is uh, written here. Thanks to each one of you. We have myself, my name is Vasan Mingani and I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Tashmet. And Thanks to Mr. Khalid Kamal, thanks to Mr. Mario, and for a wonderful event for the youth you organize. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's a little bit about, uh, it doesn't look nice when I talk about myself. But the thing is that you should know and uh, keep in mind that uh, somebody came in your life to guide you something. Maybe my some of the dialogues, my some of the explanation of my own journey can help you. Because everybody has to run their own journey. But this is a little bit which you can have some idea. So I had started in 1988. Now, it is not but still I am learning. So in my learning come 27 years experience which I will show you today. And I am the business head of a Dubai Computer Group. We have formed this group, I think, uh, five years before. Now, running actually 11 years ago, but group have been properly formed in five years before. And uh, Dubai Computer Group, we have many, many people there, but 12 board members, which is I am one of the uh, member which is handling the business head. So, a lot of ideas we're playing comp uh, compared to the society to be developed. And I am Intel Board of Advisor. This is a very big uh, achievement. Uh, Intel, they have selected me as a Board of Advisor. There are total 16 members in the worldwide level, but I am the one of them. So I keep guiding Intel. The what chipset they have to manufacture, and they have a, we have developed one nice chipset which is we are using in our on our tablets. Plus they are selling worldwide. So this is one of the thing. In Touchmate, little bit I'll tell you about Touchmate. What is this? And later on I think some guide part. Touchmate is a now 27 years old brand. And we have decided that we have started from the PC, but later on 
we have gone to the tablets, smartphones, all-in-one PCs, smart scooters, uh, new ranges, home appliances, lighting products, lifestyle products, and many, many gadgets. So we are, I think, uh, we are only the company in the world who are capturing all this big range. Definitely there is HP, Dell, Samsung, so many companies are there. But our portfolio is the biggest one. I think no any company, plus we have the software solutions. So no any company has such a big portfolio what we are carrying. I think I never seen it. Because we have captured the retail market like Careful, Lulu, Giant, Sharabiji, Emacs, Axiom, all these are my client. And they have encouraged us to do more and more and we keep on developing more and more product line. But when I started in 1988, I was alone who was starting the company. Now today we have the 300 people staff and many, many branches of uh, IT, footwear, fashion, garments, perfume, so many things I have. And plus, whole group is formed. And uh, so this is one of the things which is, you know, journey has traveled. This is a mobile solution vendor of the year. I was showing one mo a mobile solution to Mr. Mario. Uh, which is, I'm telling you, currently that every company has two problems. They have many people in the company, half of outside, few are in warehouse and few are in offices. So this is most, suppose I'm a boss, so I have this structure. And everybody in time, when you will be also becoming boss one day in your life, you will be facing two, three challenges. One is the sales, because competition, sales. After that, you will face your people. Your people will not work as you want. It will not be as you want, okay? Office people will not work as you want. On the floor, on the field, people will not work as you want. So always you will be in tension. So becoming boss is not an easy job. It is a 24 hours job. But there is different happiness that you are a boss. So what? I have 300 people, how can control? So we have developed on software, which I was showing to Mr. Mario. We have a small Q finder, very soon uh, I think it will be available on the net also. It will control all the field people and it will control all the office people. It's not a control, basically you will be coming on a palm, on a mobile, you can see where your people are there, what they've done. What your office people they've done. And then it is connected to the WPS salary system. So after com compiling this software, you can open many, many offices worldwide, no problem. Because information on your hand. So that software solution also, Touchpad UV Manufacturing. Another, <coughs> yeah, this is an award which you can see that. So last year we have got five awards together. Yeah, these are all the awards. I think uh, Mr. Khalid knows our industry awards. So these are the uh, IT industry awards. Another uh, achievement which we did, Touchpad we have started DSF. I think the way shopping festival everybody know. But I'm telling you, it is a very good story. Very short, I think I'll finish it. Uh, my first uh, showroom was quality computers in College of the Street. And when I was in India for some vacation, I came back, one municipality person, Mr. Kalandar. He was one of my friend, he was used to come to my showroom. So one day he said, where have you been? I said, I've been in India. The house computers there. There are very nice computers are selling like on a, I've been in a Pragati Medan, one of the place, which is an exhibition. And the people are selling computers and softwares and coffee biscuits, so many things on the street on football. So I said, they are selling like this in India. Oh, really? Because that time in 1990, computers were very high. Yet. So they have explained this way. So I said, why not you start from outside your showroom? When I find, put it, my product outside the showroom, you will give me one spot, find 500 grams. No problem. Next day he brings the paper, okay, you can put it. So I just put it, the product, in, in front of my showroom, the evening, a lot of rushes started. Then idea came, why not we have to decorate it all the college knowledge the street. So we have done that one. And this is the way we have designed the kiosk. And each and every computer street showroom people, we have given one of the kiosks to them. It is first as mine, quality computers. So that way we have decorated, and evening time we are giving prizes and giveaways and many good offers we played. So two years like this, so you can see that all the DSL logos, this is all the street, this is the quality and touch Then evening time we are giving the lot of gifts and uh, prizes to the people. And after third year, it is like they came, so 50 computers of touch 50 computers of uh, Acer. We have installed there, people can realize that internet, because the internet just launched. So if you buy a PC from here, you'll get the internet connection free from the Acer also. So this way we have started Dubai Shopping Festival. 
I was handling five years as exclusive with the econo department. Later on, it has become very big, and then it has goes to the now today the Dubai Shopping Festival is worldwide biggest event. I think. So this way, Dubai Shopping Festival is started. So this I'm telling you, if you are thinking little, little, it is can become very big. What do you have to think? Yeah, this is you can see the presence of uh, TouchMate. Like when you go to Care4, so many promotions are running. Care4 never gave so much big space to any company until they see that the product are sellable. So this is a huge range. You can see many many displays, and you can see the position of TouchMate here, Lenovo. So this is a way like we are we have been leading long time. It is not a one or two years. It's now long time. And this is a very good relation. We have a strong partnership with the. Microsoft since last 25 years, he has a golden partner and all that. He is the person next to the CEO. So this is all the top guys in industry. When you will start your own businesses, you will come to know who is who. But today, this is just an idea. So this is all the Microsoft guys. And I am a board of advisor of Intel. So this is a worldwide head of marketing and sales of Intel. He directly report to the CEO. He is very good friend of mine. And this all the Middle East team. And these two people control 70% of Intel business, so they are very close to us. You can see, I'm a board of advisor of uh, Intel, so I'm myself, and I'm advising all the Intel and partners there. So why I intend to say, if I say myself, myself doesn't look nice, but it is just only want to say you. I was born in India. And my education was completely in in the medium. I don't know a single letter of English, by the way. This is my education. Because in 1982 to 1988, the situation in where I am living in India, Bombay and Delhi was a very modern cities. Okay, but in our part where I am from Rajasthan, which is only Hindi schools are there, Hindi college are there, only Hindi you can learn. There is no English. But today I am becoming board of director of Intel. I am not telling you. Means you decide something. It possible. And what is my overall presentation meaning is, you guys something you decide. You dream something and it will possible. So this is possibility which you can see now. And finally, I think most of the people who know about Bollywood, I think this is the Shah Rukh Khan. And this is Vijay Kumar. This is the Indian cricket captain, Mr. Sunil Gavaskar. And he's Anil, Anil Kapoor, and this is Vikas Singh, and all these top guys are there of Bollywood. They all are attachment lovers, and they are good friend of us. Now this is your part. This is part of the attachment which is I now finished. But now this is your part. My views, I just share the knowledge. It is not meant that I am a teacher or something. But maybe if you can find something good for your life, it is really I'll be happy, and I think Mr. Khalid, everybody will be very happy. This is for you. I like for all the students. Announce what you want to be. See, the first day when I start to tell my all the society I want to be doctor, so everybody say he is going to be doctor. Then I announce that I want to be a computer guy. So all the society understand I am going to be a computer guy. When I came to Dubai, I was supposed to do a job. My brothers are here. They say, "Will you do job?" But no. I announce I want to start my own business because I am so good. If I work for anybody, I'll work very good. The boss will not leave me. So I'm, I will know myself. So that's why I don't want to go to the job. I will start my own business. So the people in my nearby, my family, they said, "Okay, what are you talking? You don't have money. Business needs money. When a business no need money, the business needs really courage. If you have that one, everything will come through itself." So the finally, I have taken a showroom, quality computers. Without any goods, I started my company. Then I just fly to Singapore, and finally, one of the guy, I made him convinced that I have showroom there, but I don't the goods, but I have a lot of courage. I can do wonders for you. Consider me, he was aged guy. Consider me that I am one of your grandchildren. Invest something on me. As soon as I sell, I'll send you money back. The guy has came very near to me. He realized, but he told me, "Don't cheat me, no never." Then he starts supporting me from Singapore. I was selling the goods and sending immediately the money to them. So ten years we worked together, 
I had made so much money, then after that, so many showrooms, so many things I did. So see, without money also business possible. This is a live example of mine. Topic actually I will discuss with you. Be good guy. If you are good, people love you, people want to trust on you, and people want to invest on you. That is a major key. The other education, whatever you have. I don't have so much education. Yeah, this was my dream that uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed introduced a tablet which is 3D tablet. Without glass, you can see 3D. So he was very amazed that uh, Asan, you've done a very good job. Because His Highness know me when I started the Dubai Shopping Festival. So he, is, he know that Tashmet is the brand of Dubai. And he always encouraged me to do something good for the Dubai. And we have five following there. Yeah, this is our Prime Minister of India. He is also one of the great guys. And you can understand, he said that once we decide we have to do something, we can go miles ahead. And 60 years own party, Congress, he removed everybody. And now today he is not only Indian leader, he is a becoming world leader. And he has changed so much India. So this is the, I think last time he came to Dubai, I have given the first, well, to first front page, I have given the welcome ad for our Prime Minister. So, this is the example, says Ayana Sheikh Mohammed the dream what he is seeing, what is his father, made one trade center, but his Ayana Sheikh Mohammed did wonderful, everything number one in Dubai. <laughs> there is the biggest, longest building here in Dubai, palm is here, Dubai wall is here, what is not here? In 25 kilometers of desert, he converted in the heaven. So, we, by heart, really I love and uh, respect his Ayana Sheikh Mohammed, who, what vision has changed so much. I was in the USA one day, attending one exhi uh, exhibition. One of the old gentlemen and his lady, and they were showing me some items, an earphone with the Swarovski diamonds. So I was supposed to sign the distribution. Then the guy has seen my card. Oh, you are from Dubai. Wait, wait, wait. He bring his wife. And he bring his wife and say, you know, Mr. Hassan, my wife's last dream, before she died, she want to see Dubai. The American person want to see Dubai before they die. Amazing. So that time I really salute, internally I salute to his Ayana Sheikh Mohammed that they created the world. The people from America, they want to see Dubai before they die. It is real. Or whatever I am talking, everything is real. Yeah, then finally, I think Gulf News guys, they selected me as one of the visionary books they have printed. So all the top guys are here. You can see their boss is here. Esther Boss is here, Mr. All the top guys for in our industry who did something. But they have selected the and most younger one here. They are all 60, 70. <laughs> so this book was, uh, I think most of the university libraries you can find this book. It's called the, the Visionaries. Please study that. I think you just buy or wherever. But this study because these are all the Dubai top guys. How they struggle they done and how they created the grounds. Or maybe whatever they this guy has made the this guy. This guy has made the trade center. So, so many people are there here. He's an NMC Mr. Shetty. He's Mr. Nikai. He's Mr. Dano. And uh, Mr. Jackie. So so many. Uh, Hitachi, he was electronics boss. So everybody is here who's done something. Please study there. I think it will be help you to make better future. Yeah, this is Dubai Computer Group. This is we all group here. So we doing we are doing something good for the IT industry. When I say, you start, God always help you. See, I started quality, God helped me, and without money I started. Then, the PC started, the PC computer business started. So I was uh, assembling the one or two computers in my showroom, but later on, I feel that if I start paying, maybe something will be happen. So I taken one warehouse in Aviv, and I start the assembly line. Can you believe it that Kerfo, they have four to five display of touchmate, there was one or two Acer and one or two Compact. And I was the most biggest seller in Kerfo for the PCs. Because I had the capacity, I paid the capacity of production 5,000 pieces per month. From 7 to 8 computers per month from my showroom, I reached to the capacity of 5,000 pieces per month in Touchpad. So that is also possible. <coughs> I think you should be here, in front yeah. of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Born for the purpose, 
God made everyone for the purpose, please find out. It is not like that you have unnecessary bond in the life and many many people they bond unnecessary and bond. God creating each and everybody for one specific purpose. You are not wasted. Suppose you have five brothers, six brothers, three sisters, ten children, twelve children, no problem. No problem. Each and everybody who are born, they are made for purpose. I think I found my purpose because I asked my mother. He has four brothers, no sister, but four brothers. I asked my mother, and I am the youngest one, by the way. <laughs> so when I was studying, my three brothers in the way, and I was studying in India, then I asked my mother, why you make me? Why? No need. Three brothers are in the way, they are making good enough money. Okay, dad is there. Why you are studying for me? Please you go, but she never go. When you finish the study, we'll go together. So I said, why you created me? You are in trouble with, because of me, you are in trouble. Why you created me? That was not one day you come to know why I created you. Because everybody born for a purpose. Today I remember my mom because she is not here. And that was the purpose. Because I had to create a product. I want to serve the society. Okay, follow till finish. So few of the things people will mostly not successful in their life because they don't follow till finish. People they start. Yeah, let's start. You people ask, well, you start something. Well, you want to learn something music or you start, but you don't go to classes. You start learning guitar, you start something playing, but you don't. One day, two days. So you will not get the success, very frankly. Right? You will start, but you have to finish. Then you just have to remember this one. Whenever you something you start, you have to finish. Do mistake, but do. Go and get filled, but go. My sales people say, because they are prediction, they are more smarter than me. They say, nothing will happen, sir. This person is very dangerous. That's it. It's, you will not understand, sir. I will not go, sir. I can do one thing. I know. Go and get fail. Finish. Go and get fail. What advantage? At least you will be having good relation. At least by eye contact, he knows you. You represent it, touch it. That's what you represent. Class, finish. Our goal is done. And my goal is not that you have to make the order, but you go and meet, meet them. People should know somebody came from that way. Class, one day he'll definitely call you. So there is no any failure in any meeting or any approach. Today, Mr. Pallad, you call us. This is no failure. People will learn that what we are explaining here. Go and get failed, and nobody wants to get failed. Everybody wants to get success. So definitely, when the people will go and they will get success. So follow this one. Never afraid to meet, meet anybody. When you start your career, never afraid. Have to go. Even His Highness, I can meet him. Never afraid anybody. Nobody consider that he is very big, he is very smart, he is very big, tall, Lord, no nothing. We are human beings, we are equal. Let's go. Maybe he has born before, that's why he has more better experience. But never mind. You have to go and go in a very smart way that he should love you and give you the orders or what are the purpose of yours. Thank you. Pay back to society. This is one of the things which is when you settle in your life or whatever still you are learning. Consider one thing that you have learned from many of your teachers, from parents, from relatives, from friends. Everybody who came in your life, definitely they have contributed your success. So you have to pay back them. You have to pay back them. Pay back them more than thousand times. Please remember, if you have taken hundred dirhams from your father, you have to pay back in two thousand times. Then you are really a good son or daughter. I did. I did. I taken sixty thousand to start my business from my brother. I paid them sixty million. No problem. <laughs> I paid. So I, my burden is not there. And. Yeah, and then they treat well. Go beyond on services, make the way name on top. What services, like we are in IT industry, we, uh, many customers, relatives, friends, so many people come in our life. We try that you have to treat them well. This is my house, and this is a customer from South Africa. Last, this is the last week of photo. I thought I would put my slide. These guys are very confused when they came to sign the distribution of Tashmir. But when they met me, met my team, and uh, finally, they were little bit convinced, but I taken them to my home. Because that was the 
dinner time. So I take them from my home. When they come back, they have they paid me hundred thousand dollars cash. And then they said that our journey is finished. Our searching journey for the good partner finished. Now we are directly going back to the South Africa. And Mr. Hassan, come, we will do big business here. Just wanted. So I think people, they are smart people. There is a he is a financial head, and he is a guy who is having the land and something. They are thinking very big for So how it happens? Because personalized touch is always required. You love the people when they give you personal touch, right? That's what touch me. So I always yeah, touch me. That's what the name is also concerned. I always give the personal touch to all my friends and family and you know. Uh, my customers, I never say customers, they are my good friends who will do together business. So this is one thing you treat whenever you grow, wherever, in your business or whatever, please treat well, everybody. It is definitely paying back, sure, 100%, not 100%, 200%. Yeah, and something which is, uh, I'm a singer basically, I think Mr. Khalid knows me. So this is the thing. You know this all activities should be in life. I mean, people know me as a businessman, but basically I'm not so good businessman maybe. But I love singing, I love music, I know most of the things to play, drums, bongo, bongo, these all, and singing. And now I'm going on, first time going to Bollywood to sing a song with the Bollywood great singing star. Do it is there. So it will be very soon and we'll come out some serials and some movies. So apart from business, you know, you should keep yourself alive with something different. Because of these habits, you know. And it helped me a lot. This is the last DCG event which is I was there. And this is the associate, you know, some serial Indian. So this is all help us. Keep you happy and people love you by the some extra activities. So I think along with the business, what do I do? You have to learn, learn something different. Maybe some music, something uh, something different. Any activities which you personally like. Decide, do better than before. Anybody will work, whatever, study or gaming or whatever. Anything you do in your life, try that you are doing better than yesterday. If you are doing business or if you are going to medical or engineering or whatever, Try that you have to do something better. Every day you have to be something better. Daily basis, study relation, learning, work, whatever you do, try to do better in every of your task on daily basis. Not like today. Today suppose you just wear this dress, tomorrow something better. Today this latest take tomorrow much better let's see. Okay? Okay, do small action and it will be big. Action, but for example, action, I will show you on another slide this example. All slides in most of the audio videos and presentation you've seen that always they give the examples of Apple, Microsoft, Uber, Samsung, all this type of brand they give most of the examples, right? Mr. Khalil also talk about Mr. Bill Gates. Most of the slides you see this one filled with a lot of examples, examples. Because small success lead to the bigger vision. For example, as I show DSF. These these examples become example to the world. Why? Because one day they start small. Mr. Bill Gates is not within a day he become Microsoft. They start small. And what we see, we see so many big people profiles and we confuse. We are afraid, oh so, I cannot be Bill Gates. I cannot be Samsung. No, no, no. Never I think in my dream that I can be an Apple. Why not? Why not? If I can be a Dutchman, been in Dubai, why not? So just these examples are lying now only in the good events in the books. But basically, a lot of young people, they don't follow these. So that's why I say, start little small. See, little I started TSL, today it has become biggest event. It is started out of my showroom. Five beans I put it, mouse, keyboard, discards and all that, and evening time, people start buying. And slowly, 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 Khalid Mahalaj Street, then Niti Salah, then all the Dubai become DSL. So it can be possible. 
So everybody, whatever you have, even your schools, you just start something. A small canteen of tea and selling. Okay, sell. Something you eat. One day, hopefully, maybe your tea or maybe coffee will be the brand of Costco. Costa coffee? Huh? Mariam coffee? Khalid coffee? No problem. Can be possible. <laughs> okay. Which is small to big. You can see this was a I initiated G Tech shopper concept. Many people they know about it. When we are having G Tech, there was very big confusion. When I am putting the stands, I told trade center, it is confusing. I don't know what price I have to give to whom. This is people is buying one on pieces. This person is coming for five five thousand pieces, two thousand pieces. So who is a wholesaler? Who is retailer? It is very confusing. So that time was Jillian was there. So I told Jillian, I think you have to separate the G Tech. Selling should be separate and trades should be separate. Trade and exhibition should be separate and local public want to buy immediately. It should be separate concept. Come on, Mr. Hassan, we cannot do because this is GTEC. Try, try, why you say no? Try something. So we have put it on tent outside the hall number two, small tent. That, that way the shopper started. That is going to the airport side. Now oh, you see, coming here, she is out. So the shopper started. And I was the first company, you can see I introduced first notebook. This a laptop of Bondwell from Hong Kong. People they don't know the laptop. I was having the one laptop, I bring it and I show how the laptop look like. So this is Steve. This is a color. So this is my small stand when I started. I was only the hardiest uh, supplier in GTEx. Otherwise most of the people are software or solutions. The people are very surprised to see the stand. So I started small and today see the shopper has become big. I started small ESL today has become so big. So possible. Mr. Mario, you you travel a long time with us. So everything is possible. Right? Come on. First do yourself, then let others do. Don't repeat tenth after studying tenth. When you'll be bosses one day, or you are working or supervising or you know many directors, whatever you be in your life. Remember one thing that you have to do sometimes some job and after that you have to make a presentation. They depend, okay, they tell the student, okay, make presentation, I'll talk. No, not like this. It's not like right. They have to learn. Today the students are more smarter than the teachers. Then why do you respect them? So teacher has to be smart. And for that one is easy. Lot of courses are coming on videos, YouTube. So 30 minutes they have to learn something. And parents' role in kids' life, definitely parents are very much uh, concerned that how can I leave our kids to the USA, UK for higher studies and all that. Mr. Khalid can help, but end of the day, all parents are afraid maybe my kids will be bad because there is uh, pubs and bars and discos and dance and you know, we are from uh, Arabic culture, so how can I leave my daughter or my boy and here, there, you know, thousand things are coming in mind. But one thing is that, make your family culture best, your kids will not go here. That is the that is the real game. If your son loves you, if your daughter loves you, if they are culture, they see that my dad and mom taking care of their brothers, their family members, they are treating well to the, all the guests. So this is the first education start from the home, and definitely the guy will adopt it, and he will not be bad in life. I I, I personally realize my grandfather, my father, the way they were treating the people. It was going slowly, slowly in my blood, and hopefully I become the something, something good person. I'm not telling you I'm a very good person, but somehow, somewhere is okay. So when something is bad is there, my college people is there, smoke the cigarette, I give up. I say, yeah, do it. Ah, like, oh, very good. That's you finish. I give the company, but I never go and have it. So the guys, you know, they, boys in our family, they see the culture of our families. So it is just one thing that all the parents, they had to, you can I think read it. I have written something very quick. Good home culture environment. That is the main thing. If the father and mother is fighting, they don't love each and everybody, they don't love the cousins, they don't love, they just love only money, your pet, your kids also will be like this, 100 percent This is the first education. First education from home. Best, I think, keep confidence of your kids. Explain them. Explain to kids what's the right and what's the wrong. What's the right advantage, what's the wrong or disadvantage. Finish. Rest. Luck. Rest God. <laughs> if he want to give you happiness, he will give you good kids. If he don't, so rest is lines. Lines are the play big role, but uh, we never see. 
but try yourself that you are pierced that right elevation from the home. So this is something, these few points are uh, there. I think it maybe can help you in a time of your life. So this enough? Uh, yeah, I think I remember one of the great uh, dialogue of my grandfather. When I was living in India and coming to Dubai, I was living with my mom and uh, first floor and down ground floor my grandfather and grandmother was there. They are old actually. I don't want to leave them, but basically I have to rush here because I love one girl. So I have to settle quickly to get married. <laughs> so that was the biggest pressure. So my grandfather what says, when I started, I said, Grandpa, give me blessing. The way, excuse me, I think this is the last point is very good for you guys. So I asked my grandfather, give me one line, which I can remember all the time in my life. So what he said, you should like, people should like you from the bottom of their heart when they see you. When people they see me, they should be happy. When I see Mr. Khalid, I should be happy. When I see Mr. Mario, I should be happy. So I had to start at that characteristic. I should be like this. You know, this dialogue was looking very easy. Very, very easy. Nothing. It was very easy. But basically, this become a successful point of life. So I had to be good. Only the solution, this line stopped me to go on a higher temperature. This, this line stopped me in all the way. And he, this lines make me better. So remember this, I think, that my grandfather told me and I wish here. So I think you just read that when you somebody of your friends, family or anybody see you, they should be happy. They should be happy that you are helping them, you talk nicely to them, and you are done something, doing something better for them. So I think, thank you very much. Thank you very much. informational, absolutely, guidance, like um, what to do, you know, like, I think I like, yes, it's also motivating. very motivating, I like the part about this, uh, in love with that girl, I don't know about you, but, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, I think it's, it's uh, definitely uh, beyond description how you could, uh, uh, how you could really uh, develop your, your, skills and be better. I like the line from the grandfather. I think it's also enlightening. I also go by the same thing. It's, it's, um, it's a beautiful thing when you have people love you because when you have people love you and believe in you, they'll do anything for you. And it's, it's, it's not only that you want them to do things for you, you want people to always be there for you, for help, for advice, for guidance, and, and so on and so forth. And again, guys, it's not about the money. It has nothing to do with the money. The money, money will come. Everybody gets their risk, right? Everybody will get their whatever, like Mr. Besson said, whatever is on the, you know, whatever the line on the hand. So, whatever is written is written. Don't worry about that. Worry about how to be a good, great person. And I don't know. Like Mr. Besson mentioned before, their products are already in the hands of 40 million people. This is not a joke. 40 million could also be bigger than many countries' population, right? So, but yet you see a very humble, very down-to-earth gentleman. Otherwise, if you know other people, you wouldn't really see them in a room like this. They won't bother. He's here spending his precious time in coming and addressing you so that you benefit also from his humbleness experience and so on. So I really thank you very much for being with us. Great presentation, great career. Thank you very, very much. Right, so uh, um, in the end room, we have Mr. Salman who just landed from Saudi Arabia again, coming to speak to you um, um, specifically and also uh, the parents, unfortunately some of the parents already uh, left, but it's fine. Mr. Salman actually is a Saudi gentleman and uh, has studied in Switzerland. How exciting and cold. <laughs> right, so thanks for being with us. I think next is uh, Mr. Mary. He wants, um, he doesn't have a presentation on PowerPoint, but he wants to just share with you. He's from Germany and he wants to talk to you about education in Germany and how he um, envisions Germany as a destination for education versus Poland. All right, so we give it to Mr. Mary.
the reason why I have not actually brought you a presentation is because one, I didn't really know what I would actually expect from meeting you and, and, and knowing the format. I mean, I'm obviously not from the field of education, but I'm coming from, from the IT business. So, so the way we actually working um, and, and having these styles of presentations is quite, the, uh, quite different. And, and I wanted to really even understand, like, okay, what, what would you like to hear from me? What would you like to understand? You know, what could, could I give you as a guidance to you in order to make the right choices? So there are actually basically two things where I can probably help. One, I can probably tell you a little bit about myself in terms of like how did I maintain my career over 20 years in, uh, in the IT. Now I know everybody says like how can you work for 20 years? There was no child labor in Germany, but I'm still looking young, which I'm very proud of. So I maintain myself. <laughs> now you will be even more surprised because the other story I can tell you about is like how did my daughter went into university this year? So that's another thing where you would probably say like how come this guy is actually having a daughter which is already 20 years old and actually made a move back to Europe. So, so when it comes to choosing a field of you want to work within, it's always something that you need to really follow your passion. While you probably hear this a lot, and maybe you can read about this, it is very important that you really understand what are you interested in. And it was quite interesting, yesterday I had a conversation with a friend of mine, actually his mother was over uh, from Spain, and we were actually gathering as friends. So he actually studied uh, psychology in, in Germany, and he's actually uh, half German, half uh, Chilean. And uh, so he spent most of his education in Dubai. He went to Germany to actually go for university and he studied psychology. So what do you think is he actually working on right now? Which field do you think he's working in right now? He's in psychology. Give me a wild guess. What is he doing? He spent his whole education in psychology. What is he doing? Ah, you see, that's what people would expect. No, he's actually an event manager. I was asking him, like, so why are you an event manager? Because I knew I would meet you guys, and I thought, like, okay, maybe I can learn something from him. Why did he choose to be an event manager? Because he said, I'm a musician, but I knew I would never be a great musician, which is fair to say. So he said, I want to be involved with music because I love music. I'm not good. I will never be on the stage. I will never be maybe a golden record or whatever, but I want to be involved in event management. Plus, I had a very good education. I am very structured. My project management skills are great. I understand people. I understand the psychology of people as well. So he decided to go into event management. And now he's actually advising even uh, some of the government offices out here in order to bring more culture into Dubai, uh, organizing events around music and art and other things. So, so what does it show us? He was actually doing his education, maybe at that time there was no specific programs available which would probably allow him to probably study exactly what he now does. But he was following his passion and he was looking at like what I'm really interested in. So why is it important that you need to follow your passion? It's because only if you're really passionate about something, you can be really good about something. Right? If you love architecture, you can design the best things, you know, you can, you can dream of. So that's always important. And, uh, similar for me, for me it was, and I said that earlier, and I'm sure nobody remembers, because I had two choices, right, to make. You know, it was like two choices after my, uh, let's say, normal schooling uh, education. Um, at that time, actually, I was, I mean, I'm from Germany, I was living in Italy with my father. And uh, so we were, I was actually thinking of, like, what do I do? So do I follow the footsteps of my father? I go into plastics, you know, going into manufacturing, or would I do something else? But IT was always a passion to me. But again, if my grandmother, I mean, peace be upon her, I mean, she always thought that I could be able to repair a computer, but I have no clue about it. So, yes, even if you see, like, okay, is information technology the right field for you? It doesn't mean that you need to be a programmer. It doesn't mean you need to be, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, an engineer or something. It is even enough if you have a passion for IT. I've always been passionate about computers. I always loved uh, working with computers. Not necessarily being a gaming guy or something, but was really interested to it. And that's why I thought, like, okay, why don't I go into this field? Because that was a booming business. And I started, let's say, my, my, my career back in uh, 1995. So, so at that time, obviously, IT was growing big time. And it was everything got more and more automated. Computers were sold everywhere. People were using it instead of typewriters and stuff like this. And today you have this in every field, in every aspect of your life. 
So, so why I'm telling you this is like always try to think what really interests you. If it's, if it's fashion, whatever it is, and then try to get into that industry. So how can you find out even um, that this industry is the right thing? Do internships. So I like what I heard about like uh, you both were like doing internships. Um, I actually uh, over the last, uh, as I said, my, my daughter left uh, left us this summer here from Dubai after she has done her IB. And she decided to go to, to the Netherlands, and I will tell you a little bit more about it. But um, in order to encourage her to find her way, and not to probably tell her, like, okay, follow dad's footsteps and go into IT or do something else or try to become the first doctor in the family, um, I wanted her to really start understanding, like, what could she do? So how parents can actually encourage this is, like, while laws in the UAE have become a little bit more easier in terms of even taking up jobs, um, you could actually send them back home and ask them to do internships with with your uh, family, within your family circle, or within your your friends who are having businesses. With. And that's what we actually did with my daughter Vivian. And uh, we sent her back to uh, obviously for summer vacations to Germany, and we asked her to to work in different fields. Uh, my father-in-law, for example, he's uh, actually a facility manager, and he looks after a lot of apartments. So, so he's having a little truck uh, with a lot of tools that he goes and makes sure that you know uh, the grass is cut in front of those houses, and making sure that whenever smaller repairs needs to be carried out, he's helping when they say people are moving out of apartments and new people are moving in. So I asked my my, my father-in-law to actually take my daughter with him in order to give her a little bit of an impression of what he does. Not that I wanted to probably wish her to have a career as a facility manager, um, but I wanted her to really understand how work is done. You know? And that is something probably how, um, how even I myself have been brought up by my dad. I mean, fortunately we had, uh, or he had a partnership with a business, and he could actually ask me even to join him whenever he was uh, spending long hours in the factory, or even spending time on the weekend. So I was going with him actually see how the work has been done and my rank was probably the lowest you could actually imagine in the in the company which means I had to sweep the floors and have to help uh, people around me. So why I'm saying this to you is like uh, take those opportunities I mean uh, try to really go out uh, try out help involve yourself not always look at what's in for me if I'm doing it sometimes what's in for you to do it is, is, is just doing it because that itself is, is, is the highest good you can actually have in order to get. You might find even out it's the wrong thing and you say, like, oh no, I never want to do this again, but it's great, I have done it, so I'm, I'm, I'm over with it, right? So that's important. Um, when it comes to education in Germany, I said that earlier, um, we have a very strong vocational training system in place, which obviously allows us in Germany to uh, develop a lot of uh, skilled labor and skilled workers, which means if you go, what's the problem? Um, I hope it's not too fast and too fast for you. Okay. Um, so, vocational training is very strong in Germany and that gives us a lot of like skilled labor. I mean, if it comes from the one who stands in a shop and sells uh, bread up to whatever engineers, they all follow a specific curriculum in order to um, graduate from, uh, if it's even the Chamber of Commerce or any other uh, faculties, in order to be really, really qualified in what he does. And um, I myself has actually followed uh, the same program, so I actually started to learn how uh, wholesale and foreign trade would actually work. So when I started my career initially, I was very passionate about uh, hunting. So obviously I have chosen to work with a company which is a wholesale company and sells hunting equipment. So we're talking about arms, and rifles, and, you know, ammunition, and all the equipment you need when you go for hunting. Um, so I'm a professional arms trader, if you want. Um, so nothing to do with IT. However, when I when I when I started my career, I was fortunate, and I'm telling you, it's so interesting that at that time I didn't have that vision. I said, oh, it's great that I go into this company and I will start understanding how the wholesale and the foreign trade business is working. But what I learned was obviously in a very conservative, traditional company. You can imagine I'm dealing with these hunters, you know, so they all a bit stronger and a little bit old and wearing green stuff like you can see them and because they are in, in their field of passion as well. So it was a very old environment. It was not like fancy and you know you have young people like you maybe find it in like the, one of the IT companies. Um, 
But what I learned in this company is like I had a three-year program with this company, and I was actually going from department to department. So it started with even looking at how goods would actually be delivered to the company, and how it had to be put into the shelves, and how somebody has to go even and pick it up from the shelves and bring it back to the um, dispatch area, for example. Uh, start understanding how bookkeeping would work, start understanding how sales would work, how purchasing would work. I mean, basically all aspects. So within this three-year program, I started to really learn how a company 360 degrees is functioning. So why I'm telling you this is like, because it was very interesting that later on I actually pursued my career in IT. I was always going to work in IT. Always been in sales, always did international sales. Um, when I was in Dubai, or when I was coming to Dubai in 2003, um, then I found obviously an environment around me which was not, let's say, um, extremely well fine-tuned as a business. So I, I was obviously struggling because, and this is probably something which you will experience once you have done your, um, uh, your degrees and then come back from the rest of you to go into the job, because you will find that you will not find the perfect environment as you have been talking about. So it's not like you find it in the books and you start realizing, oh, you're responsible for sales, but then you see all oh, the rest is not actually working. I mean, customers are un unhappy because, I mean, dispatch is not working, but the whole coming. business and the whole thing is not working. So it's very good to have this very practical experience and gain this very practical experience by, as I said, internships, as well as probably even looking at uh, what options do I have other than uh, um, 100% academic uh, education, as I would actually call it. So, so if anyone has any question in terms of like, okay, how is the education system working in Germany on this side? And I'm more than happy to work with Mr. Harder than yourself in specific things. Um, so the, the, the interesting part was really when uh, Kader actually asked me, I said, Mario, would you have time and could you actually share a bit of your experience? And uh, so we start talking and then, uh, then he said, like, you can probably talk about the education system in, in, in Germany and how good the German education system is. And um, it, would you be interested to come and join? I said, oh, yeah, I can do that. And I can probably even share then uh, why I have actually sent my daughter to the Netherlands uh, in, into university. And he said, why did you send her to university? I mean, you have such a great system in Germany. I mean, it's so great. And you, what do you do? I mean, you, you ruin the whole story now. And there are many reasons for it. Because yes, definitely, I mean, the Germans have a very good education system. The problem which we have sometimes maybe that um, it's not that internationally recognized sometimes. I have a lot of friends out here which are lawyers, which are doctors. They have sometimes a little bit of a problem in getting their degrees actually accepted out here because they are not really, they are good, but they don't really fall into that standard of classifying your education, so especially your lawyers. So why did I send, or why did we send uh, my daughter, our daughter, uh, to the Netherlands? Is uh, after basically spending uh, all her education here in the UAE, she spent initially four years at the uh, German school in, in Sharjah, because that was the only German school which we had here around, uh, other than the one in Abu Dhabi. However, that German school had no, let's say, high school attached uh, to um, and obviously we wanted to make sure that she has won the basics of the grammar basics of German. And, uh, and obviously we were not very sure for how long we will stay. I mean, maybe we go after one or two years and then, you know, what do we do? How would we, would we get her back into the German schooling system? So then after four years, we had one year of kindergarten, four years of elementary school. So after five years, we were pretty clear, I think it's gonna, gonna take us a little longer to get back home. So um, let her get her into an international, uh, so she joined uh, Dera International School. Anyone who is from Dera International School? Yes. Yeah? Oh, well, huh? I ah, okay. So it was nearby, we're living up uh, at that part of town. So um, so she spent uh, obviously the, the, uh, uh, from grade 5 to IB2 um, at Dera International School and then obviously decided to go to the Netherlands. One of the reasons for, I mean, we never really told her to in which country to go to study. It was pretty much her choice. Um, we always encourage her to always be as, as open as possible to look into it. And first of all, find out what you're really passionate about. So 
probably because when you live in Dubai, you travel a lot and you enjoy traveling, so that's something which she started to enjoy, and she found this is something which she would like to pursue a career in, so she actually um, is going for a travel and tourism uh, management course in, in the Netherlands. And by her own research, she found out that the most uh, top two universities in that field are actually in the Netherlands. Uh, one is in the south of the Netherlands, which is Breda, and the other one is in Amsterdam. Um, what we have done then is like, obviously, we went and, and have a look at the place. You know? Though, uh, if you look into it, we, we are from the northwest of Germany, so the Netherlands is actually closer to, that, to us than Munich would be to us. So, um, it was even, from our side, we felt quite comfortable because it's just three hour drive to go to my in-laws for example which are still living up there so you felt like okay that's that's a good compromise and, and most importantly for me what was important is that after um, seeing her spend her majority of her life uh, here in the UAE in Dubai in, in an environment which is very cosmopolitan which is very international which is multicultural we don't want her to really go back to a place in Germany where we suddenly like that thing very conservative and be living a little bit countryside. And he said, okay, I mean, what was that all worth for in order to spend so much time there? So we wanted her obviously to have and to continue her international education. And um, we felt that if she would go back to Germany, she would fall into a German system uh, rather than uh, being pursuing uh, yeah, an international career. So, I mean, that is just a, a little bit, maybe, maybe from my side and from my family's side, in terms of why like, we have probably chosen um, sending our daughter back, uh, back to the Netherlands. It's obviously not easy to send your, uh, your child, especially when it's your only child, um, uh, abroad. We would have loved to see her uh, staying with us uh, in, in Dubai, but then at one point of time, we would have to let go. Um, however, we have the pleasure to have her with us. The, just like last week, and um, it's always great to see them coming back and being happy and being, being proud to come back to Dubai. I think it's opening up the, the horizon, and um, yeah, though, yes, you, you shed a few tears, obviously, when they go back, but uh, ultimately, they're all in the same place. So, if uh, that's all what I have to probably share with you, I mean, if you don't have any specific questions, um, then um, I wish you all the very best for, for your career. And again, uh, follow your passion and uh, try to find out what you really want to do. You know? Don't look at, maybe it's another point which is very important. What I have never done in my career is, I have never looked at like uh, going or moving on to, to have a, a job which is giving me a better pay. I've always been very open to actually say that, look, if there's an opportunity that I can learn something new, if I can have an opportunity where, um, where my bosses believe that I can add value, and if they have the trust in me, I will take that challenge. So, and I think that has um, brought me to uh, where I am today, and, 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 and be happy with, with, with how we live and, and, and what we do. And I think that's another thing. So don't always look at like okay, what's immediately in for you. Just take this opportunity. I mean, as I said, go for internships, go for um, uh, work placements somewhere in order to uh, really learn. Mm -hmm. That's all I can share. Well, another great presentation. Thanks a lot, Mary, for um, investing time and sharing with us your. Um, Beautiful story about growing up and leaving, you know, uh, your father's path and taking your own path, what you decided to do, and so on. Um, we have before we we get into um, some man's beautiful uh, talk about Switzerland. Um, we wanted to run a little bit of an exciting thing, just to give something to, um, you know, wake up the room. Uh, so I believe Mr. Besson has thought of a nice competition, which he kept as a surprise. I don't know. Uh, you want to share maybe with the crowd? Yeah. Okay. So so basically, we want to. What is everybody? Where do you uh, you want to call them back in because they're going to miss out on the prizes. Um, so what we want to do from the interns. We want you guys to come up with 
the fastest, the fastest talk. So you're gonna present.